hello folks we are starting from this mala assistant paper that was held on uh, 7th of february 2022 on 9 to 11 batch which is the first batch basically choosing the first question we will analyze in the following question out of out of given four alternatives so here the four alternatives have given so we need to analyze that alternative which best express the meaning of the underlying idiom or phrase so basically here this idiom is given most people in the african countries are still living from this hand to mouth living from hand to mouth so basically we need to analyze this idiom and uh, find out this answer so the four <coughs> first uh, the option is to have just enough money to live on and nothing to extra uh, doing manual labor for livelihood earning a lot of wealth by selfish means saving money for future generation so basically we'll analyze the same now here is the detailed explanation of the question and answer. Uh, this question tests the knowledge. So basically, the question is testing the knowledge of idiomatic expression. It provides the sentence content idiom living from the hand to mouth. Okay. First, that one is clear. Now the next part. The most people in the African countries are still living from hand to mouth. It then asks to select the alternative that best express the meaning of this idiom. Which idiom? This idiom. Okay. And the idiom living from hand to mouth means to means to only have enough money to meet your basic needs. Then no extra money to over <coughs> okay so basically here now we got an answer that option a is the correct uh, correct one so art as it matches the meaning of the idiom and living from this hand to mouth so having just enough money to get by on without any extra cost basically option b c and d do not match the meaning of the idiom and are incorrect so basically b refers to leaving through the physical or manual work so basically this is does not lie on the criteria c refers to accumulating wealth in greedy way d refers to saying saving money for a future generation so both the answers is incorrect the answer one is option a is correct okay so in the summary, this question takes the knowledge of a common idiom. So the next time onwards, you need to prepare for this common idioms. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, leaving from hand to mouth by asking to identify the answers, choice that matches its meanings. Having just enough money to peace meet the basic needs without any extra. The correct answer is option A. We will move to the next question. In the following questions, the sentence given with a blank. So here the fill in the blank. Okay. Let's do a fill in this appropriate preposition. Select the most appropriate option to fill it. So basically, here yes, the sentence is given. We we are really bad. See. The blank is here predicting future cost of our asset at, for, on, in, or on. So basically, here we have given the four preposition. So let's analyze the question and answer. The question provides the sentence with a blank. So here is the plane in the blank sentence. It asks to fill the blank. With the appropriate preposition. When filling the preposition, 
we need to think about what we need to think about the context and the meaning of the sentence two things need to be remembered while appropriate like fill in the banks in this appropriate preposition so we need to uh, analyze two things which is one is a context and the second one is meaning of the sentence here the sentence is talking about being bad or making mistakes when predicting something so basically they are predicting the future of their assets the preposition that collocates best with the predicting is which is an art we say something is bad or good at predicting something so like we say that we say something is bad or good at predicting something so therefore this option is filled in the blank is option a art <coughs> so we are so we are really bad at predicting future of art predicting future cost of our asset for in and on do not work as well in this context so in the summary the correct preposition to fill in the blank is at making option a is right answer the key understanding of the context such as the context common collection uh, with a predicting so we'll move forward a third question in the following question out of given alternatives four alternatives select the one which is similar in meaning to given underline words so here the sentence has given the church was all of place because the sacred artifact so the option one is value holy precious and scarce so we'll analyze first and then let's uh, <coughs> take an answer uh, okay let's break it down this sentence is the church was hollow place because the sacred artifacts the question asked to find the question that is similar in meaning so basically they are asking about this particular word to be the similar meaning okay in the options so to the sacred so the sacred means holy okay or consecrated it refers to something that is highly venerated so basically any places that we need <coughs> or for example the temple is a sacred place for us okay like that looking at this answer option a value does not mean the same as a sacred or a holy okay value means and something is holy means the same as the sacred or a concentrate so basically holy also uh, somehow in the european structure european uh, countries they called holy bible or holy quran or holy church like that because they are a sacred so third one the second one is our answer the holy means the same as the sacred or consecrated so the previous third one is previous means the valuable previous means valuable sorry uh, precious means the valuable but not specifically holy so scarce means something rare or uncommon which is different from this holy so basically scarce we usually use that the natural scarce scarce resources okay scarce resources <coughs> here we are using for the resources it means that the resources are limited so 
it means that the limited something is limited it means that the sphere okay therefore the word that is closest in the meaning is sacred is holy so the correct answer option is b in summary the key understanding of the meaning of sacred and identifying this answer choice with a same meaning which is holy so but i'll uh, analyze one more thing also okay here hollow also mean a sacred place sorry the holy place or the sacred they both are the same meaning so somehow in the next paper or somehow the next year if they ask the questions like this it means that the hollow mean also the sacred place okay okay let's move to the further uh, in the following questions four alternatives select alternatives which is best substitute to this phrase so here they are asking about the phrase a person considering himself to be superior in culture and intellect okay so hybro iconoclast henpecked team poster so basically the four question four options are there so we'll analyze the same first here is the step by step explanation how to approach this question because this question is very much tricky and uh, so it can't be ignored like that so that's why we are uh, analyzing the same uh, the question provides the phrase where the phrase is given a person considering himself to be superior in culture and intellect so basically it asks to select the four alternatives sorry to select the alternative that is substitute base substitute for the for this phrase which this phrase a, a person considering himself to be superior in the culture and intellect the an to this answer we need to understand meaning of the original phrase what is this original meaning of the phrase it describes someone who thinks who thinks culturally and intellectually superior to others okay so in the next examine this option here hybro means something who is cultured okay so here like first meaning of this thing it's a culture and intellectual also so here we find out the same and interested in art literature etc this matches the phrase meaning right but we'll analyze the next uh, part also here we see iconoclast means someone who attacks the traditional belief this meaning also this intellectual word but not in our context so that does not match imposter means someone who pretend to be someone is so basically someone who wanted to become uh, abdul kalam like abdul kalam like gandhi ji like dr ambedkar like others okay this is means this imposter means someone who pretend to be someone else this does not match so here we see the henpeck means someone who is controlled by their wife okay <laughs> it's like a puppet this does not match okay so move forward further uh, therefore the best substitute is hybro which means that same as the original phrase so in summary the key states are understanding the meaning of this original phrase analyze the answer options for the clues match in the meaning identify hybro as the best substitute the answer is a <clears throat> so next moving forward uh, with the fifth question in the following question out of the given four alternatives select the alternative which is best expresses the meaning of the proverb 
so here they are asking about the proverb so actions speak louder than words okay they have given the proverb here actions speak louder than words so first analyze the same a b c d what do you uh, what you do is more important than what you say do something without proper planning look for something in wrong place take up take up a task that you are comfortable so here is the detail explanation for this question and answer uh, the question provides a common proverb action speak louder than word it asks to select the alternative that best expresses the meaning of this proverb so the proverb action speak louder than words means that people's intentions are the better judged by what they do what they do rather than what they say okay so analyzing this answer option what what you do is more important than what you say this captures the essence of the proverb proverb's meaning so the second move move to the second do something without proper planning this does not relate to the meaning of the proverb okay look for something in wrong place again the unrelated or this proverb meaning to take up the task that you are comfortable which is the same also unrelated the option 1 a is the right answer <coughs> so therefore option a is correctly reflects the meaning of the proverb that action matters that action matter more than just words in summary the key is to be understand that the common proverb and identify the answer choice that best matches its meaning option a is correct answer okay so here we need to consider it at the common proverb so you need to for the next exams you need to prepare common proverbs so in the following question a sentence has been given with a blank to be filled with an appropriate article select the most appropriate answer to complete the sentence here also the filling the blank a man a man with honor and integrity always speaks fill the blank truth a no article and d so basically while i was analyzing this question i got to know that here best suits for the d but later like i analyzed the some of the very uh, good books like uh, paul and suri i realized that the answer is not might d its answer is i'll tell you later okay uh let's walk through why the d is the appropriate article here okay okay sorry the d is the only one uh, which is in the same okay uh while i was in e, first i was realized that it was a not d uh so basically the sentence is a man with a honor and integrity always speaks fill in the blank truth the truth here refers to the abstract concept so here the truth this word refers to abstract concept the notion of the truth itself so however the key is that it is referring to the truth as a singular specific as a singular so it means that honor and speaks the truth which is in singular meaning okay not in general so the specific concept rather than the truth in general so here we use d okay here we are using d because the singular specific concept rather than the truth in general so if here the truth is in general it's a concept of okay here the concept of general meaning
the truth means <coughs> okay so basically here we choose the uh, referring to the something specific even if it is an abstract noun so in this case the truth means the singular concept the truth itself not true in the general case if it is an if it is in a general case then we need to use a because while t is a consonant t is a consonant so while before the consonant we need to use a right while we are considering this is in a singular okay and specifically rather than the general so that's the reason why we here we are using the not a okay so uh, therefore the most appropriate article to fill the blank is b a man with a honor and integrity always speak the truth so here okay sorry so here okay honor that's a just a typing mistake okay using a or an would imply a, uh, we are uh, taking about uh, talking about non specific general truth so which is incorrect based on the context in summary while abstract noun often take a or an when first mention here the truth is specific or a singular concept that makes b appropriate definite article to use so basically the answer is b let's move further question 7 in the following question same part of the sentence may have errors have an error find out which part of the sentence has an error and select the appropriate option if a sentence is free from error select no so one of the student from our college have selected for the physics for the physics olympiad for the physics olympiad college to have selected college have selected one of the student from r no errors so let's analyze the same read the sentence given sentence are one of the students from r so we need to carefully analyze the sentence then only we can considerably get an option okay so first we need to see that one of the student from our college have selected for the physics olympiad the instruction says that says to find if there is any errors okay so we need to find out the error we need to look at the center in parts by step by step because we need to find out the error where the error is spotted part 1 one of the student from the college okay one of the student from our college have selected the second part for the physics olympiad okay so basically first part is one of the student from our college the second part is have selected third part is for the physics olympiad so basically here the subject of the sentence is one of the students this is the singular sentence okay this is the singular sentence the verb is used have selected and but this is not a singular object okay singular object the verb should be has selected this is the plural subject okay this does not rely on the same this context belongs to has selected not have selected okay therefore the error is in a part second so we need to analyze this part that here we have spotted the error okay the verb does not agree with a singular subject so the correct version should be one of our one of the student from our college has selected for physics olympiad but here they need to fa so basically they asking about to not to rewrite the sentence they are asking about to analyze the error find out the error which part is in sentence so here we find out this error that here have selected okay so the answer is to 
college have selected in summary the error was in subject verb agreement this question based on subject verb agreement the verb should be agree with a singular subject so one of the student the singular subject is one of the student so it means that we need we have here got the answer which is and b college have selected okay move forward uh, select the correct passive okay yeah, the active to pause passive or passive to active so select the correct passive form of the given sentence okay active to passive right do not park your vehicle in front of my house do not park your vehicle in front of my house so let's analyze the question and answer step by step so here are the step to convert given active voice sentence into the passive voice this is the given sentence do not do not park your vehicle in front of my house the subject is you implied the object is your vehicle the object of the preposition of the preposition is my house basically three things are matter in the active to passive voice to change this passive voice we make the object to active sentence of the active sentence the passive subject of the passive sentence so basically we need to make sure that we make the object of the active sentence the subject of the passive sentence so we need to interchange the connection so here we need to follow one rule the passive structure will be subject object of the active sentence should must or can etc should or must or can etc plus b b also important over here so past particles of the verb this past particle of the verb is here the park park okay park okay the verb other parts of the sentence and other part of the sentence so let's analyze and uh, apply this rule your vehicle the subject should not model b park right past particle of this park plus in front of my house okay the passive voice sentence is your vehicle should not be should not be parked in front of my house so here this is the particle your vehicle is the subject should not is the model b here we are using b the part past particle of the spark spark plus in front of my house other object okay therefore the correct passive voice form is your vehicle should not be parked in front of my house so the answer is option 2 so let's moving for further question 9 in the following questions four words have been given out which one is incorrectly spelled select the incorrectly spelled word guarantee gimmicks gorgeous guidance so okay let's analyze the each four of words given to identify the center it one so basically we need to just uh uh go to the same guarantee uh, this is incorrect spelling because the guarantee is like uh, spelling is like warranty also uh, here guarantee we uh, write like guarantee if we need to write the guarantee guarantee okay we write like this not like this okay guarantee or also like this okay 
gimmick spelling is correct gorgeous spelling is correct guidance spelling is correct the only incorrect spell word is guarantee it should be spelled like warranty therefore the answer is option one guarantee it's incorrectly spelled word so the key things to look at incorrect incorrect sequence of the vowel or consonant missing or extra letter somehow here we find out the extra letter r <coughs> a missing or extra letter issue with the silent letters by uh, analyzing each word so basically careful we are identified the one of the spelling error in case guarantee extra r is there star that makes it incorrect so our last question in the following question four words have been given which incorrectly spell which one is incorrectly spell select this practical flexible flashy intelligent here let's analyze practical this spell is incorrectly this is the spelling practical p e r a c t i c l p e a l okay practical flexible this is the correct one flashy also this is the correct one diligent this is also the correct one the one word the only word that is incorrectly spelled is the practical the correct spelling is p e r a c t i c l practical the key steps are carefully analyzed that each word from this uh, for any incorrect or missing letters identified one the spelling errors in this case it is the misspelling practical as a practical so the answer is is the option okay thanks for watching